Hello from s i b a t u m University or SPU from Bangkok, Thailand. We are the only member institution in the ACU Steering Committee. We are truly excited to be a part of this very meaningful community that could bring a much better life to all. I am v a r a s w a n g d u n g j i n d a or Michael, director of the Office of Online Education at s i b a t u m University. E-learning is my life. And through my experience, I can see that creating quality e-learning content is a key of success for sustainable e-learning ecology. Today, I would like to propose a project that could benefit our community greatly, and we all can make a contribution to this project. Today, we would like to propose a new and exciting project called ACU OER project. Or in full name, it should be ASEAN Cyber University Open Educational Resources. I have created this p r e c i f i e and as you can see, uh, this is a map of ASEAN nations and also a Korean flag over there. And um, if you would like to come back to my slide, please go back to this link: bitly/acu-oer. Or if you have the QR code scanner, please scan now. All right. So let me give you the um, content of my presentation. The first one I will give the rational, which I call five C's. The second bit I will explain to you about Creative Commons or CC. Then I would give explanation on OER or Open Educational Resources. And the final part will be the ACU OER project, a possible approach towards prosperity. All right. So let's move on to the. Um, The first part, rational. The five C's. The first one, constructing quality content is a key of success in e-learning ecology. If you have low quality e-learning, perhaps nobody would like to to look at it, even yourself, right? Second C is, creating e-learning content can be very costly, timely, or even impossible to some. Number three. Copyright infringement is a big issue for both content owners and content users. Number four and five, cooperation and co-creation are vital in e-learning management and creation of the new era. So together, these are the five C's as a basis of this project. Now, second part, Creative Commons. Let me give you. Some information related to Creative Commons, so we can have same understanding. First, Creative Commons or CC itself is actually a non-profit organization that enables sharing and use of creativity and knowledge through free legal tools. CC itself can also refer to laws that are being enforced at international levels on sharing the content. For example, the top one, CCBY. If you use this kind of notion or decoration on your content, or if you ever see this kind of decoration on any content, it means that the owner lets you use this content in many ways. You can distribute, remix, tweak, and build upon your own work or his or her own work, even for commercial reasons. So. This means reuse for whatever you want to do, as long as you give the credit back to the origin. Or sometimes you can see BYSA, BYND, BYNC, BYNC and SA, BYNC and ND. And to help you with this, I have put together these two web links. Um, the first one is CreativeCommons.org. And the second one is search.creativecommons.org. Right. So let me move on to the next part of my presentation, which is about Creative Commons or OER. Right. OER is nearly similar to CC in the sense that you can use the content without any wrongdoing. But if you ever see any decoration like this, and The Open Educational Resources has a long history. Actually, since 1994, when we coined the term "learning object" or LO by Wayne Hopkins. After that, the idea of sharing learning objects ever since evolved. 
In 2012, uh, 12, UNESCO actually gathered people together and then make this declaration, the 2012 Paris OER Declaration. It means that they have a set of regulations that all country members of UNESCO, including us, abide to that regulations and we are going to allow people to reduce our content without any wrongdoing by doing the following folds. Right, I refer to this following four reads. The first read is reduce. We let them reuse our content. We let them, the second read is remix, remix our content. The third one is revise. And the last one is redistribute. We attach local OER onto our content. We give pretty much all kind of freedom to the, um, to the user as long as we refer back to us, okay? We will never charge them any money. We will never force them not to modify our content. We let them do whatever they please as long as they refer back to us. And of course, there are some websites that I would like to recommend to you. If you would like to read more about the Paris OER declaration, please go to this uh, UNESCO web link. You're going to see a lot of um, uh, documents, including the original one in English or in your language. Uh, we have the Thai version that is translated by Sivatum University as per the request from UNESCO as well over there. We also have OER search engine which we call OER Commons. Um, may I show you this web link? All right. So you can browse through many of the um, topics of your choice. Then we have this web page called Merlo, Multimedia Educational Resource for Learning and Online Teaching. Whatever you find there, you can reuse, and there are more than 400,000 educational resources you can use from Merlo. Another one is set of Sibatum stickers. You can send it on social media like Facebook without any wrongdoing. Or you can even modify the context. For example, uh, if we have the term uh, SPU, you might like to change it to your university abbreviation and distribute when you, without any wrongdoing. For example, this one, SPU Liberal Arts, you can change from SPU to anything else and then distribute as long as you refer back to, to us. So this would be our proposal. Last part, ACU OER project. I would like to emphasize on the four C's. The first one, we can co-create something through our collaboration, um, and then we can all benefit. We can create something ready for our friends in CLMV countries or for all. And then we can circulate our creation through social media like Pinterest or Facebook. So our colleagues from around the world can also enjoy our creation. All right, so the uh, limitation is it's just nothing. We can do whatever to share and then just spread it through the social media world. So this would be our plea. This is our plea or our invitation. We would like to propose that all member institutions join together to create these OER objects or at least declare the object that you create as Creative Commons or CC. So we all can use freely without having to worry about copyright infringement or paying any fees. The project can start with co-creating some small things like some images and share together. And then at later stage, we can aim for something bigger, for example, OER Cosware development. So, I believe that this ACU OER initiative could serve as a foundation for the success of ACU in the long run. And of course, for the prosperity that we all can share. And uh, this is a final diagram that I would like to bring up. Together, all the nations, we will achieve our dream. And I propose this combination of the logo OER and ACU together as a flagship project of our community. And if we can help facilitate the project, please don't hesitate to ask. All right, so thank you very much for having me, for listening to me. Hopefully, we can really create this ACU OER project together. Who knows, in the next meeting, we're gonna have thousands of 
ready to share content to show to our community. All right. Thank you once again for listening. Have a good event. Thank you very much. สวัสดีครับ